personal ground scent and rub scrapes, tracks, etc. during hunts. Um, you guys don't seem to worry about getting right in there and leaving behind odor. Yeah, I don't hunt the same spot too many times. Yeah. What you walk there, I feel like if you walk by a rub or you walk by a scrape, your scent's there. They know you're there. I don't think if you touch it or anything, it's going to make a difference. They still yeah. know you're there. They know you're there just as much as if you didn't touch it. Right. And um, it's not like I walk over and fondle rubs uh, while I'm hunting um, or go out of my way to do that. You're usually seeing that footage when I'm scouting or I'm looking at something or I'm looking my way in uh, where I walk, walk right by it. Um, but I'm going to hunt that spot the night that I find it. And if that buck comes in, he's going to die before he smells that rub. Right. Right. Yeah. We do get a lot of comments on that about like us touching rubs. And well, I think most people hunt the same spots over and over again. I don't, I don't do that. I, yeah. yeah I kill big bucks doing that. So I don't do it. I mean, you can kill deer doing that, but I don't, my biggest bucks always come from the first, first sits. They come from the first sit of the year or the first sit ever or a new spot or an aggressive move because I saw them someplace. They rarely come from a spot that you rotate through. So if you go in there and you hunt it, it's done in my, in my right. opinion, most, most right. of the time. So you got to right. at least adjust from that because he knows you were there. So whether he knows you were two feet from the rub or he knows you're at the rub hit, it makes no difference in, in, in my eyes. And it's made no yeah. difference in my success. That's for sure. Right. Hey everybody. If you like the channel make sure you subscribe right here and if you like the clips i got two more options for you two options right here subscribe right here see you guys